Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Tessman from StampYourArtOut.com and today I have another live paper crafting class and I'm excited because last week I demonstrated um, this fun little card embellishment uh, there we go <laughs> which you can call card candy you can just stick it on the front of a card and it's an instant card uh, the technique that I shared with this though is that you can use your Stamparatus and you can reverse your images um, the Stamparatus and the um, silicone craft sheet, which I call the silicone mat. <laughs> and so we're going to be using those two items again today because we, I just, I want you to see this demonstrated one more time. Plus, someone gave me an idea and I can't remember who it was. I'll have to go back in my comments and check. Hey, you guys, good morning. I see some familiar names again. Yay, Deborah's with us and Diane and Don and Vicki and Terry. Thank you so much for joining in. Um, but I got this great idea because of the comment that one of you left um, talking about using the reverse image idea with a card that, uh, I don't even know how you stated it, but it made me think of vellum. So um, then I thought back to a card that my upline, Susan Kinfield, um, made for me. I have to show you this. So this is a vellum cover card, it's called. And so you, you open it up and you have vellum first for the first part of the card, and then the other part opens up for another part of the card. So it's like a two, a double, double fold type thing but so i'm going to use a vellum cover card today good morning janine and Catherine is here again today from maryland um, so i'm going to do that today with the same technique the reverse image um, technique with the stamparatus and the silicone craft sheet i'm going to use the dashing deer stamp set or the bundle i should say um, along with its dies i'm going to use also the um, Frosted Floral Designer Series Paper, which is one of my favorites, if you can tell, because I use it a lot. <laughs> so are you excited? Okay, before we get started, I just want to tell you a few things. Um, first of all, I do draw for a door prize. Um, I, I draw for a prize at the end of my broadcast. So the way that you get in on that prize drawing is you comment like a lot of you are doing right now and saying hello to me because I love reading the comments. And sometimes you share tips and um, ideas that uh, either I didn't think of or I didn't even know and you're teaching me new things. So continue to um, comment and if you share the broadcast like Sally just did, um, also mention that, mention that you shared because that will get you entered into the prize drawing as well. So we're gonna draw for a prize at the end and then the next time I broadcast, which will be next week, I'll draw for a second prize from this broadcast, which means we have a second prize to draw from last week's broadcast. So there'll be two prizes, one from last week and one from this week. Now, if you do not live in the US, um, I will still send you a card. I can't send you the product for the prize, but I can send you a card. Okay, and I think that's it. So let's go to the computer, all right? We wanna make sure that we see the measurements and the supplies and you can take a screenshot. Oops, let's, there we go. You can take a screenshot of this if you want to, or you can visit my blog again at stampyourartout.com on Saturday. And that's typically the day that I post this, and I think that's what I have scheduled, <laughs> is to post this on Saturday. So it's the Dashing Deer vellum cover card. Um, you need vellum, basic black cardstock, whisper white cardstock, frosted floral, designer series paper. Um, so those are the different sheets of paper. And then we're also gonna use some black glittered organdy ribbon. That, by the way, is going to stick around for a lot of, uh, lot of months to come here. This is one of our carryover products. Um, also, the Dashing Deer is a carryover product, so you don't have to worry about rushing out to get it, but right now, the Thinlit dies are unavailable. Um, the supply that we had was sold out, so they turned it off, but they do have the Dashing Deer bundle still available. <laughs> so if you don't have the Dashing Deer set and the matching dies, you can get the bundle, which is most, what most people want to do anyways, because you get 10% off. Hi, Candace from Ohio. Yay, and Nancy's with us. Hello, my dear. <laughs> um, also, you're gonna need these tools. It's uh, you know kind of some pricey tools here, but if you are an avid crafter, you probably have these things already. The Big Shot, the Stamparatus, the Trimmer. Um, and if you don't have these, well, just get a bunch of them at once and then go ahead and get it in the huge starter kit, right? Because then you save 30%. All right. Um, 
I think you can kind of look at the rest of this and get a, a hold of what we're going to need here. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my desk area here. All right. So here we are. Okay. So here is again the item that I demonstrated last week. I do have the window open. Maybe I should shut it because I have a feeling we're going to have some funky light if I don't do that. There we go. That might be clearer. Okay. We can still see it, right? Hopefully. I think you can see it better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I used that, um, oh, it's kind of twisted here. I used that technique to flip this butterfly, so you can see there's two different sides to that one. I also used some of our new thinlets, and of course, this is a new stamp set. So let's, let's go ahead and take that technique again, and let's bring in our Stamparatus. This is the Stamparatus tool. It comes with two of these... Um, Oh, I, plates, that's what they're called. <laughs> Two of these plates. I already have one set up, and I put one of the deer stamps on it. And Big Shot and Matt, embossing mats are on discount starting today. Oh, I didn't even look through that whole list. Oh, Kathy just brought up a good point. Thank you. I'm so glad that I looked up at your comment. So right now we're in the middle of, well, we just started, I should say. We just started the, uh, um, the, the what's it called? I'm getting ahead of myself here. Hang on, I have to look at my papers that are underneath me. It's the clearance, the year-end clearance. We just, or close out, I should say. So there are some items from the holiday catalog um, that are getting clearanced out. And then there are some items that we have a surplus of. So you'll want to look at the links that I post in this video so that you can access that information and get in on that if you want. Thanks, Nancy. She pointed out my nails. I did them myself this time. <laughs> Actually, most of the time I do them myself, but I put glitter on them. I'm so excited. Okay, so <laughs> I get sidetracked easily. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to stamp this. Thank you, by the way, for mentioning that. Okay, so we're going to take this deer. I'm going to set my magnet way far away, by the way. You always want to set your magnet way far away when you're um, taking it off of your platform because it can connect to your other magnet that is underneath there. I have two of them. Let me just flip this over so you can see. So there's a magnet back here, and then here's another place to store your magnet. And you want to make sure that they do not come together and hurt each other, because they can break if they snap together quickly. I'm putting the silicone craft sheet onto my Stamparatus, and I'm using the clear mount stamps, or I should say, um, we're going to have cling pretty soon. This is a clear mount stamp. So it's got the foam in there, and it's got the red rubber, so it's a little thicker. So we don't need the black foam mat that comes with the Stamparatus. Hang on, I'm finding it for you so you can see. We don't need this right now. This helps to um, lift it up for the totally clear stamps, which are photopolymer, but we're not using that today. All right, so I'm gonna stick that back in my bag, which I'm gonna show you soon. There's a bag you can get with the Stamparatus, or you can buy it separately and you can store it in there. It's so pretty. Okay. So we're going to start by inking up our deer, and this deer comes from the Dashing Deer stamp set. We're actually inking up this image here, and we're going to be using its coordinating dies, the detailed deer's die, uh, deer dies. <laughs> say that 10 times fast. Good afternoon, Avanel. Avanel, is that how you say your name? Oh, that's such a pretty name. Avanel, I love it. Okay, and now we're gonna take our ink pad, and this is our tranqu Tranquil Tide color, and we're just gonna pounce up and down. This is a really good size stamp image, by the way. Typically, I use my Stampin' Spots, which are miniature ink pads, to ink up my stamps that are on the Stamparatus, because then you have less um, mess, I should say. Okay, let's go ahead and take one of our scraps of um, white, and we're gonna make sure it's ready to go with our magnet. And we're gonna stamp first onto the silicone mat. I'm making sure that the silicone mat is pushed up into the upper corner so that it doesn't move, or if it does move after I stamp it, I can shove it back up there again, okay? So I've inked up my stamp. I'm gonna press it down, and I'm gonna press firmly, and I'm gonna lift up. And I actually, um, just because this is the first stamp of the day, uh, I'm going to ink it up one more time just to make sure we have Plenty of ink in all the spots. Okay, now I'm gonna take my white scrap and I'm gonna lay it down onto my silicone mat. 
So I want to keep it in place. I don't want it to move. I'm going to put my magnet down on there. And I'm putting it out of the way so that it's not so that it's not going to interfere with where I stamp. So it's kind of off to the side in the corner. And I do want to ink up again. Now, if you're just wanting the reverse image, you don't have to ink up again like we did last week. You don't have to ink it. But I want a double-sided image. So I'm going to go ahead and ink it and press it. And the nice thing about the Stamparatus is if I don't get full ink coverage, this, this image will stamp right back down in the same spot if I need to ink it again. Now I got lucky. We have full ink coverage here. I'm just going to move that off to the side. Carefully lift that up. I almost smeared it. <laughs> so I have a deer on both sides. Now one deer is going to look a little bit brighter and um, richer than the other one, and that's totally fine. That's because this is not the perfect um, transfer, but it's really, really good. It's really close. We're going to move this off to the side so that it's out of our way. There we go. And we're going to bring in the Big Shot tool. Grab this big honking tool here. Do we have to zoom out? I do not think we do. Okay, awesome. So I have the magnetic platform. You can use the platform that comes with the big shot. You don't have to invest in the magnetic if you don't want to. I do like the magnetic because it really helps to hold my metal dies in place. Thank you, Vicki. She likes the technique. And you're gonna, this card is really, really cool. I, I just love the idea of it. I love vellum cover cards. And so I was really excited when so-and-so, again, I can't think of who it was that commented. So I'll have to go back in that video and check to see who it was. I feel so bad. But she gave me the idea to, um, to do this vellum cover card. So I've got it lined up on there. And I'm just gonna put my um, my mat down, my, my um, pad. I have two um, cutting pads here, and then I have the platform. So the, cut, the paper and the dies are between the two cutting mats. And I'm gonna crank it through. And I'm just gonna bring it back the other direction so I don't have to make it go out the other side. Plus it gives it a, a real good cut, a deep cut, if you do it twice through. Okay, so now we can take and set this off to the side again. By the way, do you see my craft room behind me? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a larger view. It's a mess. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. I actually left it a mess this time. I am in the middle of preparing for a fun weekend away. I'm going to take um, one of my members of my Stampers with Art group who has um, achieved the title of Silver Elite and maintained it. And so we're gonna go on a Silver Elite retreat up north and I am busy creating all the projects. So let's go back to the table here. All right, so I've got my deer and I've already cut it out with my dies. Gotta love these things, right? Okay, now we're gonna take our pieces. Um, so we need our basic black card base. We need our whisper white for the inside. We need our frosted floral. I need to show you these papers. If you have not seen these papers because you're either new to Stampin' Up or you haven't, you haven't been obsessed like me, <laughs> these are the papers. So this is one side of the papers. And can you see there's like a little sheen to them? Hopefully you can kind of catch that in the, in the mirror or the, the mirror, the camera there. And then this is the other side. I only have full sheets of a few of them left. I think I've gone through like five packs of this paper. I love it so much. So we're gonna use this one here, which is um, like a mint, or uh, you could even coordinate it with pool party. It's a, it's a mint color. So it's the mint medley. And we're going to use, oops, hang on. We're gonna use our paper trimmer, and we're gonna use the full sheet of vellum that I got here, and we're gonna cut our card base. Now if we're preparing two card bases, we can do them both at the same time. I want my eight and a half by 11 sheet of vellum to be scored here and cut here so that my card goes in kind of a hamburger shape instead of hot dog. So I'm gonna start with this direction with the score line. I'm using my scoring blade and I've got it positioned at four and a quarter inches. Merry Christmas to you too, Carol, thank you. And then I'm going to rotate it to five and a half inches, and I'm gonna use my cutting blade now. 
and bring that up and slice it. So now I've got two card bases here. I'll set that back there because we don't need it anymore. Now notice that vellum typically bends where you press into it. Normally I would bend it this way if it was cardstock, but I'm going to go with this. <laughs> I'm going to go with where it's folding and just and just go in that direction. Okay. So again, normally when you put the crease mark in there, that side goes on the outside, but we're going to keep keep it this direction. That's my exception to the rule. For vellum, I just go with it. Okay, so we're going to put that one off to the side. We're going to use this card base here. Let's go ahead and layer. So I'm going to use my snail adhesive and put a little bit on the back side. Should I zoom in a little bit? Maybe I should just a little bit here so you guys can see a little bit closer. Okay, so this will go on the outside of our card like this. And I've cut this so that it's just an eighth of an inch shorter on two different on the two different directions. That way I have a sixteenth of an inch all the way around. It's a little bit tighter fit, but I like it. Oh, let's do some stamping. Let's do stamping because we want to get this stamped before we put it onto our card. That way, in case we make a mistake, which we all know, right? Um, oh, I said mint melody. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. I said mint melody. Oh my gosh. Okay, that ages me with stamping. <laughs> it's mint macaron. <laughs> Thank you. So we're inking up our stamp with the Memento Tuxedo Black. Those are always things that I regret when I go back and I watch the video. I'm like, oh my gosh, I made a stupid mistake. So thanks for catching on that on me, uh, catching me on that there, Karen. Okay, so we're gonna stamp this towards the top. Um, I'm gonna move it towards me just a little bit here. Okay, so that's set. And let's go ahead and add this little strip of designer paper at the bottom too. These will, this piece will go on the inside. All right. By the way, this card is part of the first winner's prize today. So I'm going to actually send a card. Um, I typically do that, but sometimes I don't have time to make extra cards. This time I did. So, um, so the winner for the prize today will get the card, okay? Oh, you're welcome, Kathy. She said, thanks for the tip on folding. Okay, now we wanna take our scrap for the vellum, right? Yeah. Um, now we wanna take our scrap and we're gonna use some washi tape or some masking tape. And we want to cover up the word wishes on the stamp image that says happiest Christmas wishes. Cause you can just have it say happiest Christmas, right? So we're gonna cover up wishes and if you haven't done masking before, it's pretty easy. You cover it up, you ink it, you take off the tape, and ta-da, it's not on there anymore. So there's no ink on the word wishes. And we're gonna stamp that once, and then we're gonna cover it up again, but this time I'm gonna grab a new piece of washi tape because that last one has ink on it, and I'm not a person who likes to get messy. <laughs> okay. So we're going to ink that up and again, take the washi tape off. Is it Linny? Linny, Linny uh, I think that's how you say her name. You tried to order the stamp and trimmer and told it was discontinued. Interesting. Okay, so I'm just going to stop for a second. Um, I'll go ahead and stamp this down. I'm going to stop walking you through this card. I can show you a few things, but I wanted to address the clearance, um, the year-end closeout type thing. When that happens, there is... Um, sometimes a mad rush for people to order some things. I'm not sure um, which market you're in, if you're in the U.S. or not. I have not seen that um, as discontinued yet, but it could happen, and it doesn't mean that it's gone for good, especially the trimmer. So um, it could be that they sold out of it during this time, and it'll get replenished. They had to shut the number off, but we'll see. I'm going to use the... Um, the classic label punch and I'm going to punch out the word Christmas on one and I'm going to punch out happiest on the other. In fact, I'll do happiest on this one because it's easier to reach. Okay. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much. In fact, maybe go back in and try it again. And if it says it's discontinued still, then I would say um, either contact your demonstrator if you aren't one um, and ask them to watch for that for you or because it could come back um, soon or um, check 
in the um, in the inventory status report if you are a demonstrator and see if they've listed it yet or contact Stampin' Up. But that is an item that will not be discontinued. I can promise you that is going to stick around for a while. Okay, happiest Christmas. We have those punched out. And I used the classic label punch because I wanted um, a nice, um, even parallel cut on the top and bottom of my words. But they even have to be smaller than that. So we're going to trim off the sides here. And this kind of cut is easy to do pretty straight. So we're just going to do that with both pieces. And I'm doing this because I need to have something behind my deer so that we don't have the adhesive show through. And let me show you what I mean now that we've got this together. So let's go ahead and stick this down onto our card. And I'm going to be as neat and clean as possible with my adhesive on this because vellum shows adhesive. So as I open this up, I'm going to stick this in here and center it. And then I'm going to show you the back side here. Oops, make sure it's straight. Because we're giving this away as a prize. Okay, so the back side does have adhesive showing through. Now, if you wanted to on your own card, most people don't flip the cards over unless they're seeing who it's from, but you could take and put another piece of designer paper there. So now we have the inside done. We have to decorate this side, this side, and the front. So let's start with our deer, and let's go ahead and put some adhesive right through the middle. And I know, I just got done telling you that your adhesive is gonna show through. But we got tricky with this, and we made our little words here. So let's take our little our strip of basic black now. <laughs> Rhonda's late, but she's been she's been shopping. She's here now. <laughs> She says she's been shopping, of course, on Stampin' Up! website. So yeah, that clearance is a pretty big thing. And I hope that you're all going to be able to check that out and see what is being um, cleared out. There are some things on discount, of course. Hi, Nancy from Iowa. Um, so we're going to stick this down like this. So make sure you're checking out the clearance, um, the year-end closeout, to see if there's anything that you need before it's gone for good. So we've got our Christmas ready, and now let's stick this one on here. This layer, by the way, is just 5 eighths of an inch thick. So um, I just cut a strip of it with my trimmer, and then it doesn't matter how long it is. I mean, you could just use a scrap, right? Now this piece will go right on the back side of the deer. And that way we have a little sandwich here of adhesive that nobody is going to see. See? I'm so excited. So on the front, you can't see that. And on the back, we've covered up the um, adhesive area. Okay? Thanks, Lori. <laughs> All right, now we're going to take the word Christmas. We have to be a little tricky with this one, too. We're going to slide it underneath our deer like this. So you kind of have to hold it shut. You have to keep peeking at it, and you have to make sure that it, it, is, that it is straight. Let's see. Oops, it's a little high, so I'm going to move it down a tad. Let's try that. Looks good. Okay, so that's kind of a little guess and, and, and position it that way. Okay, now we're gonna grab our ribbon. So this is our black organdy glittered ribbon, and I love this stuff. I'm so glad. They're gonna carry this over, which means it's gonna continue to stay available. I'm gonna cut off a little piece here. Um, should I use my ribbon scissors? That's okay. And we're gonna cut right down the middle. So I've already put one together in a bow. Because this ribbon is pretty strong, it stays together really well when you trim it in half down the middle. Some ribbons do not, so you'll have to experiment with whatever ribbons you wanna do. But this one I wanted just a little bit thinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my rabbit ears, put one rabbit ear through the hole. Okay, now as I pull it, you're gonna notice that there is a definite line um, like where the edge of the ribbon is. So I'm gonna flip one of these over, and then as I pull, it's going to have that line looking more even. So again, I just flipped one over, and then as I tighten the knot, let's see here, make sure I got this. <laughs> it's tiny, it's a tiny ribbon. There we go. So now it looks a little bit, little bit more even. And so we're gonna trim the ends, 
And I wanted a tiny one because this is going to go on the neck of our deer. Like that. Oops, I didn't grab it. Hang on. So that'll go right here. And then on the inside, because that would be silly to have the bow only showing on one side, we will take and do another bow on the neck right here. Isn't that fabulous? <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so let me show you a red version of this card. Oh, and I told you to get a bone folder because I think um, because the vellum has a little bit of a, um, I don't know, it, it, if, you, if you use the bone folder, it really makes sure that it lies flat. Okay, so I wanted to use the bone folder on the end there. So this one opens like this, like the, the sample that I shared with you at the beginning that I got from Susan. Okay, so to the side and then up. And then this one opens to the side and then to the side. So you can really design it, you know, however you want. Now this one here, I wanna share with you because um, when I was experimenting with the deer images in the set, they, um, I wanted to try the solid ones. Now the solid ones didn't work as well with the reverse image. Um, the solid images tended to kind of pool and puddle no matter which ink pad I used. So I highly recommend doing one that has um, less of a solid image, more of a design to it or an outline. And so that's this one. And I also couldn't create tiny enough bows. <laughs> so thank you, you guys. Thank you for the, the kind comments. I couldn't create tiny enough bows that tended to look you know, cute enough on their necks. And I was just going to attach the deer at the neck. As you can see, I have blue dots behind there. But um, the bows were just kind of, I don't know, maybe if I used twine or something. So I gave up on this one. That's what this one looks like. Okay, a little more simple. And um, I went with those instead, loving those. And then I wanted to share with you, if you take your reverse image, so here you've stamped your reverse image, and you wanna put it next to your deer on another card, you can get a result that looks like this. And that's originally what I was thinking with the reverse image, is you know you have two images facing each other um, from, from the same image, right? And so this is the card that I put together using the dies from that detailed deer um, set of dies and so those are those come in that too I also put rhinestones on there I use some more of the black glittered organdy ribbon and then this is the wood textures designer paper which I think everybody should own and I hope I hope it's just like lovely as a tree it goes on for years and years and years because it is beautiful paper and so that's the inside of that card okay and it just closes kind of like a cupboard door kind of closure so all right, what are the prizes? Oh, 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 before we, before we move um, on, um, let me share with you a wonderful cleanup tool for the Stamparatus plates. Um, I highly recommend using the chamois for the Stamparatus plates because you can get right in there. You don't have to worry about taking the stamp off the, the plate before you clean it. You can just wipe it right there. And then when you grab it, to put it away, you don't have to get ink on your fingers. Because you guys know, I don't like getting messy. <laughs> so I wanted to point that out. And then I wanted to share with you a couple promotions that are going on before we do the prize drawing. So do you see this beautiful bag? My Stamparatus, oh here, let's zoom out a little bit. My Stamparatus fits in this bag. This just became available today. So if you're interested, let me show you the flyer with that. It is called the Craft and Carry Stamparatus Bag, and you can find it in the online store. You can buy it alone for the $29 US, or you can get it combined with the Stamparatus if you do not own the Stamparatus tool yet. And that's, there's no discount for getting them together, but it's just one order number, so it makes it quick and easy. You can also get extra grid paper um, for the Stamparatus. It's like a small little grid paper, um, extra plates, an extra foam mat, these things come with your Stamparatus, but some people like to have multiples. So I just want to point that out. I also want to point out to you that those Stampin' Up! accessories did not print on my flyer, and I don't know why, but there's the other um, information if you wanted to get just the accessories. 
<laughs> okay, I just thought that was funny. Um, and then, of course, the year-end clearance promotion. So let me show you where you can find that information on the computer. So let's go to my website. Let me set that up there for you. Okay, so here we go. We are on my website, and if you go to um, my blog, so you have to scroll down and click on my blog. When you get to my blog, um, you can get all the latest information, like the promotional things, by just scrolling either through that current blog post or going to the bottom. Anything that I didn't just announce will always be underneath my signature. So those, you know, those things are news as well. But I put them in today's blog post today, so you can see the Craft and Carry Stamparatus bag is here. And then here's the year-end closeout information. You can access the list here by clicking on that link, and it'll bring up the sheet that all of us demonstrators are sharing with our customers. It's not my own personal sheet. It's a, it's a PDF that you can print off, and you can go through your holiday catalog, your annual catalog. You can see all the things that are being um, taken away. Okay, so let's go back to this beautiful bag. So this is something that you can get, and I wanna show you that it has fun pockets. This is the one where I'm gonna actually put my Stamparatus into this side, and then I've got a couple pockets on this side to hold my paper, my grid paper, um, the extra plates, um, anything else that I have in here, like I have um, this wonderful Stamparatus um, brochure, and then I've got the Stamp and Storage magnet pad in here, I've got my foam mat, it's wonderful and it zips up. You've even got pockets in the front here for putting, I don't know, your lipstick. <laughs> so it's a good bag. I love it. And it matches a bag that is coming out for celebration for new demos. Um, if you sign up to be a new demonstrator during celebration, you can get in on, in on um, a beautiful bag. In fact, let me just grab it because I'm so excited. I just love these bags, you guys. And it is right here. This is the bag that you can get your hands on. And it is huge. Hang on, let me see if I can zoom out even more. Um, this way. So this bag here is a tote and it's got multiple pockets. It is huge. So this is going to be available in January for new demonstrators. Um, but you can also get your hands on it now if you um, are interested in getting the tote now and you are not a demonstrator, you can get the starter kit now and add that at full price, the $50 price, to your starter kit. Um, and if you're a demonstrator, you can get it now. Of course, I think the Australian market, they sold out. So um, keep that in mind that the bags are, there's a limited supply. <laughs> okay, so let's do prize drawings. Okay, what are the prizes, Rachel? I'm excited. I have for you um, a pack of Stamparatus grid paper. So I, I don't I don't I don't have it open. Hang on. Let me show you what that grid paper looks like. It's really cool and it fits perfectly into the stamparatus. And you've got the centimeter side and the imperial measurements on the other side. So you can let me zoom in so you can see it a little bit bit better. Here we go. So that's one prize and it comes with some product that I'm no longer using, I don't have plans for it, and it's beautiful. Um, this is the velvet ribbon in the Tranquil Tide color, and it's almost a full roll. So that's one prize. And then the other prize is the Wood Textures Designer Paper, a full pack of that, and that comes with this real red um, ribbon. This is the Mixed Satin Ribbon, and I have a little bit left of that as well and whoever gets the prize today gets to pick and then they also get the card and the next week the second um, winner gets whatever is left over all right so let's move to the computer and do our there we go we're gonna do our picking here so let's grab um, let's first hang on a minute I'm going to pull up our post that we are currently doing right now because we're excited about it <laughs> And let's grab, you can see who is in my thread. There's Allison. <laughs> um, so let's grab the post from right now. This is a slower process than what I used to use, you guys. I'm so sorry, but it's free. <laughs> so let's click on the um, URL for this. And let's move over to our website where we can pick a winner. So I'm going to copy and paste that into here, 
and let's go ahead and click the search button. We have 82 people in for this prize drawing. Are you guys like, oh, it's yay me, yay me, me, me. Yes, I love it, fingers crossed. Oh good, I love that you guys are cheering each other and yourselves on. Okay, now we're gonna move down here and we're gonna click the start button. So who is the winner for this prize? And again, you get to pick Nancy, Nancy Forsberg, yay. <laughs> awesome. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the next. This is the one from last week, The Beauty of Bounds Meets 12 Months of Home. So I'm gonna grab, I already have the URL um, up here. So we're gonna, oops, we're gonna copy and paste that in. And, oh, she wrote, hello, my dear. Love it, thanks, Nancy. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and see how many commenters we had in the last week from that post. And we had 218 people, wow. So the winner from last week, our second winner is Terry Dalton, yay! I'm gonna click on Terry's name. I know Nancy personally, so I'm not gonna worry about having to find her. Hopefully she's still live with us right now. But um, I'm going to click on here and hopefully, yep, there we go. All right, I have to comment to her. Terry, you are a winner. Contact me. <laughs> there we go. All right, next week, you guys, um, I have some fun things to share with you because I'm going to be coming back from, yes, congratulations to those winners. I have some fun things to share because I'm going to be coming back from a weekend retreat with Cheryl um, where I'm going to spoil her. And so I'm going to show you the projects that we made and I'm going to walk you through one of them. So I hope that you can join me next week, Wednesday, 11 a.m. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Now I'd like you all to go and stamp your art out. Bye-bye.